When Abdul Baha had been honoured with a knighthood in 1920 for his humanitarian work supplying grain to offset a famine in Palestine, Sir George Stuart Symes, Governor of Palestine, said this. Most of us here have, I think, a clear picture of Sir Abdul Baha Abbas, of his dignified figure walking thoughtfully in our streets, of his courteous and gracious manner, of his kindness, of his love for little children and flowers, of his generosity and care for the poor and suffering. So gentle was he, and so simple, that in his presence one almost forgot that he was also a great teacher, and that his writings and his conversations have been a solace and inspiration to hundreds and thousands of people in the East and in the West. Hello there, John Longcroft Neil here again with vlog number 21. It's the 21st of them, I'm saying no more. Anyway, last time I saw you, or you saw me, I showed you this picture of Abdul Baha. And I was talked about uh, heroes and role models. I don't know if there's a difference. Maybe a hero does one thing that's heroic and a role model is a sort of constant lifestyle. Anyway, my role model is Abdul Baha. And I've only got five minutes. I'll leave some links, you can check out all the details. But um, I'll tell you a little story about him as well. But Abdul Baha was uh, Baha'u'llah's eldest son. Baha'u'llah founded the Baha'i Faith in 1844, it all started. And Abdul Baha really was the example of what it was to be a Baha'i. Now, imagine if somebody like Jesus had a son. Bit dramatic, I know. Um, and then that person lived until they were 70 and we had a good record of where he went and what he did and how he behaved. You see, Jesus taught the wonderful things that he taught about his mission and he demonstrated them as well. So he went and ate with the tax collectors and everybody think, what's he doing? Well, he's demonstrating what it is to be the person that he, that he was teaching about. Now, Baha'u'llah taught his teachings about unity of the human race and love and kindness and generosity and so on. And Abdul Baha was an example of how to do that. In fact, frequently Baha'u'llah would say, you want to know how to do this or do that? Watch the master, as he was called, the master. So Abdul Baha was this perfect example for us. Um, when he was... Uh, quite elderly in the turn of the century. He was born in uh, 1844 and died aged 77 in 1920. So prior to the uh, First World War, uh, he went to America, he went to Europe. In fact, he declined a uh, passage on the Titanic, went on a slightly slower route. He always took the most economic route and people were very generous, they gave him money and he always gave it to the poor. He never kept any of it for himself, for his own benefit or comfort. But when he was in America, this little tale is interesting, um, his generosity and his demeanour were just absolutely wonderful. Everybody who met him was very moved by it. And he was on the street and he, he used to wear um, oriental clothes. So he had this long coat on called an abba. And anyway, he was in the street and there was this tramp, a hobo, a homeless person, shuffling along. And Abdul Baha noticed that his trousers were very tatty. You know, they were virtually non-existent. Anyway, so Abdul Baha shuffled off into this uh, shop doorway, muscled about underneath his coat, took his trousers off and gave them to this man because he had no trousers. That's the sort of generosity that he had. In fact, at the moment when he died, he had hardly any decent night clothes to wear. Um, he had nothing at all. At his funeral in Haifa in 1920, 10,000 people turned up. And prior to that, because of the um, work that he'd done securing and growing extra crops at the time under very difficult circumstances under the rule of the Ottoman Empire, as it was petering out. Um, he was knighted by the British. Um, so he was very well, well respected 
and everywhere he went on his journeys he was lauded and um, was in the newspaper so there's lots of references to Abdul Baha uh, in the writings um, of the newspapers. Talking of writings um, he also wrote a number of books or answered some questions and there's a compilation here called Some Answer Questions and this is a superb book uh, selections of the writings of Abdul Baha wonderful book full of very interesting stuff and this story by a uh, book written by Mary Perkins about Abdul Baha's life is very very good indeed anyway so come on who is your um, role model who is your hero um, let's get some answers and see what we've got okay look at that time's dead on five seconds to go five four three two one bang